Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial, we're going to go over the HTTP module. Now, what the HTTP module allows us to do is basically create a web server with Node.js. So to get started, we're going to have to require the HTTP module. So I'm just going to say const HTTP is equal to require HTTP. Now from here, we can call a method called create server, and this is going to give us a HTTP server object. So I'm just going to say const server is equal to HTTP dot create server. Now this method is going to take a callback and this callback is going to give us a request object as well as a response object. So let's just do that. Now the request object is what the client requests from us. So for example, if I am on Google Chrome and I type in www.google.com, I am requesting something from Google. Now Google server is going to take that request and it's going to send me a response back. So the most simplistic example that I could give you is I could send a basic text back to the client. So I could say res and that's going to be my response. I'm going to say write and I'm just going to pass in a string. So I'm just going to say hello world from node.js. Now within here, I haven't actually sent the response back. I just told it what it is. So in order to send the response, I'm going to say res dot end. Now this is going to take care of our HTTP dot create server method. Now there's one more thing that we have to do to get this server up and running. And that's to tell Node.js what port that I want to listen for request at. So I'm just going to say server dot listen. And we're going to listen on port 3000. So now if I was to save this and now go down here, type node app, you can see that our server is up and running. Now I'm going to go to Chrome. And within here, I'm going to type local host colon and then the port which we assigned was 3000. So that's where we're listening for request at. If I hit enter, you can see that we get a response back from the server, hello world from Node.js. So now from here, what we can do is actually listen to requests, different routes. So let's actually take a look at a property of the request object. And one of the properties is called URL. So instead of just saying hello world from Node.js, I only want to say hello world from Node.js if it is the root domain. So I'm just going to say request.url is equal to forward slash. Then I'm going to say res.write hello world from Node.js. And then don't forget that we have to send the response back to the client. So we're going to call res.end and now if I was to save this and we're just going to hit control C to kick us out of the server and then we're going to start the server back up again so we get our updated changes we're going to go back to Chrome hit enter and you can see that it works exactly the same if we were to add an else statement here so let's say they are not using the root domain I could say res.write using some other domain. And then we're going to send that out to the user. And let's actually control C this to stop the server. And before we start up the server, I have to save. So I'm just going to say control S to save node app. And now here, instead of localhost colon 3000 I'm going to say localhost banana and let's see what response we get and the response we get back is using some other domain 
Now this response is going to be for anything we type because we put it in the else block. So if I type that, I'm going to get the same response. And then if I go back and just have the forward slash, you can see that we get the hello world from Node.js output.